Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for March 26th of 2023. Well, it is titled Wanderers. So what do we see here? Well, what we're going to see when we play the video is a video showing the future, perhaps, of space and when we can travel to other objects. So we can look at various different planets and see what it might be like to be able to be there. So since this video runs about four minutes, let's go ahead and start it so we can see what we're going to see in Wanderers. And as the video starts, again, we're looking at recreations of actual places within our solar system. And as we continue, we look here on Earth. So we're starting looking on Earth, looking out up to the sky, seeing stars and planets up in the sky. And we're always wondering what it might be like to be able to travel out there. And that's what Wanderers wants to show us what it is like to be out out in there. And as we see first our craft there heading out and we can see the craft as it travels through and travels over and away from this world and then opens up a cargo bay to reveal the planet Jupiter with its great red spot. So we can see the structures of Jupiter. What might it be like to be there and to be around some of the moons in the outer solar system that vent gases out into space, gases like water. Here we see a person within the rings of Saturn. What might it be like to travel within the rings and look at the ring particles and get the view of Saturn from that region? We'll also see some of the various moons in the solar system as we continue our travels and move out to see the planet Mars regions heavily cratered and regions without so many craters as we continue this travel. Could we someday have craft traveling in the atmosphere of Mars? Well, we already have a helicopter on Mars now. So what else could be there in the future? What might it look like to view a sunrise or a sunset from another world? We see here then perhaps domes on a distant moon here, a moon of Saturn. And what would it be like there to be able to look out and see Saturn off in the distance? And we can also see some of the other objects within the solar system, very rocky material and icy material. We continue looking outward here, seeing a giant tube hole down into one of these objects. Now we have people walking on an icy surface of Europa, looking at Jupiter off in the distance and the closer moon Io in there. And then what might it be like to travel and to fly within the surface in one of these other worlds? How about a gigantic skydive or jumping off a monstrous cliff of one of the moons of Uranus? And you see Uranus out in the background as people travel down and jump down from this cliff with a much lower gravity. Here again, we see the rings of Saturn uh, from a closer view than we ever get from Earth. And at some point, there may be humans out there being able to look out here from one of the moons looking toward the rings of Saturn and being able to study them from a very close distance as we see. So we don't know exactly where we will end up being, whether this will be 10, 20, 50 years from now, but perhaps at some point we will actually be traveling out and seeing the views that we are shown here in this type of animated view that we looked at today. So that was our picture of the day for March 26th of 2023. It was titled Wanderers. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Aurora Row. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. 
and I will see you in class.